Welcome to Red Tastic. Story 1 My younger sister, 23 female, is getting married in a few weeks and she's currently planning her wedding. So a few days ago, my husband, 30 male, informed me, 24 female, that she has been bugging his line with calls and texts, requesting access to our country home which she intends to use as the venue for her wedding. Every time she called or texted, he told her to call me for that, yet she wouldn't stop bugging him. I was stunned and irritated by her effrontery. The first time she did this, I warned her to stop calling my husband over trifle matters, telling her to reach out to me first. My husband is a very busy man, and I know how much he hates being bothered while at work. That's when she told me in an off-handed, entitled manner that she had decided to wed in our country home because she had always dreamt of getting married in a country mansion, demanding the keys so she can send her events planner over. I immediately turned down her request, citing that it was not a good idea since our country home is not large enough for the number of guests she has invited and it's a private home for me and my husband. I do not want it open for public use, especially for a wedding with lots of strange folks I don't know. So she went behind me and approached my husband with the same request, even to the point of disturbing him at work. This isn't her first time being sneaky and annoying. She has always been this way and even on my wedding day. She snuck into my suite and swapped my wedding dress with a hideous gown. Since she was my maid of honor, no one suspected her actions until I was ready to wear my dress. She didn't even bother denying it. She claimed that she took mine because she didn't like that my wedding dress was the same color as hers which she was yet to buy. She claimed that I stole her idea on wedding color, although she had never mentioned anything about her wedding plans, while I shared my plans for my theme and color right after I got engaged to my husband. My other bridesmaids had to step in when she refused to return my dress. They succeeded in getting it back from her. Her actions that day strained our relationship and she never apologized because she felt her actions were not wrong. Now she has taken to calling and texting my husband every day, asking for the keys to my country home, stating that she needs it immediately because she is a sister-in-law and we can take care of it afterwards. My husband is fed up with her shenanigans and dislikes how she disturbs his work routine, even when he has asked her to call me for matters related to his house. I took matters into my hands and called her last night, warning her to stop calling my husband. And when she tried to argue some more, I told her that we were not going to open our country home to the public, and that includes her wedding. It's a private home and would remain so until we decide otherwise. My sister went ballistic on me. She accused me of a lot of things, called me names and hung up on me. She also reported me to my parents and now I'm being blamed for not giving in to her request. She has more than 200 guests, most of whom I don't know. Did I do wrong to turn down her request? Am I the a-hole? Update. My husband and I have decided to stick to our decision and we've made this clear to my family. He has blocked her from calling or texting him and when my sister found out, she threatened to remove our names from her wedding list despite our efforts towards her wedding plans. Honestly, we are both fine with the threats. We value our privacy and security and will not sabotage both for anyone. You're not the a-hole, OP. Jesus, the house is yours and your husband's. Why does your sister feel so entitled to it? And why are your family members supporting and enabling her? Her asking isn't the problem, but her not taking no for an answer is. The fact that she has been disturbing your husband and distracting him during work hours makes this even worse. Ignore her. Don't give in. You shouldn't have to give your house to anyone if you don't want to. Story 2 I, 35 female, have been married to my husband, 37 male, for three years. We live in a rented apartment in a nice neighborhood. My dream has always been to own a house on our own and won't have to pay rent anymore. I'm a physician, my husband is a construction worker. We're doing fine financially, but he's always complaining about me not doing enough, even though I make a ton of money, even though I handle all of our two-year-old's daughter's expenses. Food, clothes, toys, etc. I also pay most of the rent. It's because he says I'm a physician I make more. He has a box for his own savings that he keeps in our bedroom that has been sitting there since 2017. I myself have no idea what he's saving for. He always complains that I threw money away. 
Whenever I buy new stuff for the apartment, he sold his car and that resulted in me getting my own car. Then he threw a fit because of it basically talking about my salary. He recently started selling stuff via online, stuff like set of kitchenware that I bought not too long ago, furniture, lamps, etc. When I asked him about it, he argued that, one, he doesn't make as much as I make there because he has to sell stuff, and two, I'm a doctor, I have money, I can always buy replacements. I've put up with that until last week when I came home and my husband told me that he sold the 15-piece European ceramic tea set that my deceased mother gifted me for my wedding online for $255. I was so shocked, I literally yelled at him for touching my tea set and selling it without my consent. He lashed out saying I overreacted because this tea set has been sitting in the cabinet for some time and that we never used it said that again since I make a lot of money, then I can get a better, more modern tea set. But this set had a sentimental value. It was important to me, it's literally the last thing I have for my mother. After my siblings treated me poorly and didn't let me have anything. It was personal that he had no right to sell no matter what. He told me that he needed the money to pay someone he owed money to for two months and didn't want to come to me for money. When I demanded that he return the tea set, he said that he'll just pay me $255 from his savings soon. So I just need to drop it. I told him no and the argument didn't stop. He called me ridiculous for how I reacted. I took my daughter and went to stay with my dad. I told him what happened and my husband called and was angry that I told my dad about personal issues after talking to my dad. Not the a-hole OP. He had no right to unilaterally decide to sell anything of yours. And his choosing to steal from you to pay a debt is a blatant breach of trust. Stay with your dad. And if you want to remain married to your husband, the bare minimum is you get your tea set back and him getting individual therapy to unpack why he thought in any way stealing from you was better than being honest about his debt and asking for money. Couples therapy probably isn't a bad idea either. If you don't want to remain married to him, I think that is 100% a valid course of action. Now for some comments. Not the a-hole. Your husband has some sort of problem. Whether it's gambling or drugs, you need to find out and fast. He's using his money for something, expecting you to pay for everything, and now he's selling your stuff on top of it so he can use the money he makes from selling your stuff. Something is not okay. Go home, get your valuables, and go back to your parents with your children until you figure out what is going on. So not the a-hole. What your husband did is absolutely horrific. He would be the a-hole for selling all of the other stuff too. FYI, the fact he sold a gift that sentimental to you, I'm honestly horrified. Were all the items he sold previously also yours bought with your own money, without your consent? If so, I would be billing him for every item he sold, plus demanding that he said is returned. Yes, you make more money. However, income is to be shared, not stolen. And you don't even have to share it with him. That's very much your choice to do that. File a police report. File a complaint with eBay if you can. Offer to buy back the tea set from the purchaser as they didn't intentionally act as a receiver of stolen goods. Contact a lawyer ASAP. Take the lawyer's advice about how to protect your finances and assets in the event you decide to divorce. Possibly get a storage unit and move anything you want to keep into it. Then, after all that, tell your husband it's marriage counseling or divorce. This is not a sustainable situation. The part where he's angry that you spoke to your father about what is going on in your life is, by itself, an entire Soviet parade of red flags. What your husband is doing is not normal and it is not acceptable. Story 3 So right now, my brother lives in Germany. He has lived there since 2017 because his wife is from Frankfurt. My brother is American, we are from Tulsa. He works in the medical field and he used to be with Doctors Without Borders. He met his wife through it because she's in the medical field as well. When their contract with Doctors Without Borders was up, they got married and at that time, they decided to live in Frankfurt instead of here. To be honest, I thought this was temporary. My family always thought they would eventually come live here. Accidentally, when we were talking about him and my sister-in-law coming to visit once the travel restrictions and pandemic cleared up more. It turns out, my brother became a German citizen earlier this year. It sort of makes sense if he lives there. But get this, Germany doesn't allow dual citizenship unless you had two at birth. 
because one parent wasn't German or if you are from another European Union country. So my brother gave up his American citizenship to become a German one this year and he didn't tell us. To be honest, I'm upset and I'm not the only one. My brother said he knew we would be upset, which is why he didn't say anything. My parents, especially my mom, are livid. My brother said if they came to America and his wife got American citizenship, she would have to give up her German citizenship. They could have lived here legally without her becoming a citizen. My brother could have legally lived there without getting citizenship. I don't understand why they wouldn't want to move here instead of Frankfurt though, even if his wife had to change citizenship. I would have thought it was an easy decision, but my brother decided the opposite to all our surprises. Anyways, I called him out in front of our family and online for being a liar. In the interest of full disclosure, alcohol was involved in my decision. Even if I completely disagree with him, that is, they should have moved here. I'm thinking maybe I was too harsh and I shouldn't have publicly called him a liar. I'm rethinking how much I drink in general. Don't sugarcoat it. Was I too harsh and wrong about it? Let me know. Now for some comments. You're the a-hole. Because his and his wife's decision isn't your business and he knew y'all would be unreasonable about it. Why should they live in the US instead of Germany? Why did you expect his wife to just be cool with giving up her own family and friends connections? And own culture in favor of your brothers? Your brother made what he believed was the best decision for him and his family and you berating him for it is a great window into one of the reasons he may have decided to live on another continent from you. You're the a-hole. It's his life, not yours. Plus the way things are going, I would rather be a German citizen than an American one. Real talk, based on how you and your family reacted, I'm not surprised he chose to stay. You all seem like a real egotistical bunch of whiners. Plus Tulsa compared to Frankfurt. Come on, man, that's the easiest choice in the world. Do you think Oklahoma is the best place for a doctor who is trying to do good for the world? JFC, you need to grow up and respect your brother before he cuts off all contact with y'all. Information. Where's the lie? From what I can get out of your post, I'm not seeing where he lied to you. Did he tell you he was moving back? Because from your post, it looks like that was your and your parents' assumption. But I don't see where he ever told you that. It looks like he chose not to tell you all about his decision to give up his citizenship, likely because he knew y'all wouldn't be supportive. That's not a lie. That's choosing not to take you into his inner circle because he knows you all well enough to know what your reaction would be. Also, why do you think he has to want to live in this awful nightmare of a country? If I could ditch my American citizenship for German citizenship and move away, I would do it in a heartbeat.